Alright, this is Nathan Morley with an another video on the LEGO Disaster Refuse Collector. So, last time I gave you an overview of the modulator, which you obviously see here. Now, I'm actually going to hook power up to it and run it. So, just to demonstrate for you what it, how it actually works and what it does. So, I have a little battery pack here. I'm going to connect the motor, the modulator motor, just like that. Then I have a second motor with... A little doodad on the end so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to connect that there, like that, then this wire around and to there. So, if I start it up, there we go. You can see the crankshaft is oscillating the arm assembly. Zoom in a smidge. And then the switches are jiggling just as exactly as they're supposed to. And you see it's in neutral. So the motor is not turning, but if I turn this to simulate an increase in speed, see it? There it goes. And you can actually hear, you should be able to hear it making a really weird little whining sound, and that's the power being pulsed to the motor by the little switches. If I throttle up some more, you should hear the motor start to steady out, just like that. And throttle down, and then it starts making the funny noise and stops. Back in the other direction. And then the motor starts up in the opposite direction again. And again, the slight adjustment in speed is because the little switches down in there are just being opened and closed uh, very rapidly. And then by adjusting this, I adjust in what direction they're being closed. So, either forward or backwards. So, hopefully this gave all of you several ideas as to how you can make your LEGO machines better. So, keep watching.